Hey everyone, and welcome to the RIO Gateway Ops video series. I'm Phil, founder of RIO, and in this series, we're going to embark on a journey into the world of decentralized infrastructure and permanent data storage. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about how to take part in the PermaWeb and operate an RIO gateway. Whether you're a developer, engineer, or simply someone interested in exploring the depths of Web3, this series is tailor-made for you. So what exactly is an RIO gateway? At its core, an REO gateway is an open source decentralized node that plays a pivotal role atop the Rweave network. It serves as a conduit between users, apps, and the blockchain. Just like a bridge connecting two worlds, it empowers you to interact with the Rweave network seamlessly. The gateway facilitates data retrieval, friendly name resolution, transaction indexing, and even proxying network requests. Simply put, the gateway makes up the backbone of what we call the permaweb, the apps, pages, and data that are permanently stored on Arweave. But what is Arweave? It's a public blockchain built for storing any kind of content, like unstructured data, files, or even apps for incredibly long periods of time without dealing with any subscriptions. Every piece of information on it is securely timestamped and tamper-proof, providing verifiability and maintaining a clear record of data provenance. Its ledger is stored in an unencrypted form and replicated around the world and it's all powered by an ownerless open source protocol that requires no permission by anyone to use. Now you might be wondering, why would anyone want to run an RIO gateway? And that's a great question. Running an RIO gateway aligns with the ethos of decentralization. By hosting your own node, you become an integral part of the PermaWeb and the Rweave ecosystem, contributing to the network's strength and resilience. The gateway is meant to be both scalable and modular, so you can configure it to any need. It opens doors for various possibilities from serving your own dApps and data to building new integrations that leverage Arweave's permanent and tamper-proof storage. To learn more about the REO gateway and the upcoming network, check out our docs at ar.io slash docs and some of the other links that are down below. Now let's delve into what you can expect from the rest of this series. Its goals are ultimately to educate future gateway operators and experiment with the RIO gateway in different areas and use cases. We'll start with the basics of operating a gateway, then gradually move into more advanced topics, ensuring you're well-equipped to navigate any kind of permaweb infrastructure. The first episodes will guide you through the process of setting up your own gateway on the smallest form factor, a Raspberry Pi. This could make for a great personal gateway option for caching your own permanent dApps, pages, and data as well as testing out the PermaWeb. We'll talk about what hardware to use, how to prepare it, how to install and test the RIO node, and end with advanced configurations for the Rweave name system and indexing ANS 104 bundles. And that's just the beginning, because we have even more exciting episodes planned, covering topics like customization, security, scalability, and integration with other Web3 technologies. So whether you're interested in building blockchain infrastructure, enhancing your technical skills, or just exploring the decentralized landscape. This series has something for everyone. We're thrilled to have you join us on this journey, and I can't wait to see you thrive in the PermaWeb. Before we set up our gateway, we should do a little planning first. So in this episode, we'll learn more about what kinds of resources a gateway uses, the minimum and recommended hardware specifications, and other considerations for a first-time gateway operator. We've got lots of great info on this one, so get your notepad ready and let's go. So first, we're gonna start by talking about what hardware specs you'll need for a successful RIO gateway deployment. Our focus is on consumer-grade hardware that anyone could buy with a lower-end budget for a smaller-scale project. Now, before I give out specs, it's important to know what resources every RIO gateway needs. This includes CPU and RAM for running the web services and backend tasks, to disk, which is used for storing the RIO databases, as well as caching Rweave transaction headers, chunks, and contiguous files. And of course, it needs an internet connection to synchronize network information and serve data to users. It also needs a GPU. No, just kidding, no graphics card needed. But like any infrastructure, the gateway's specifications and performance all depend on how you plan on using it. So with that, the minimum specifications call for a four core CPU with at least four gigs of RAM, with maybe 500 gigs for the operating system, application, databases, and cache. 
While SSD is recommended for all disks used, spinning disk could be used for the cache, especially chunks. An RIO node is part web server, so it must have a port opened that is accessible to the World Wide Web over a stable network connection of at least 50 megabits per second. This type of gateway might be suitable enough for a personal or small project use, and it should maintain a full layer one index and a partial layer two index. It should still be able to cache and serve perma web sites, apps, and data. A more robust gateway could benefit from maybe a 12 core CPU with 32 gigs of RAM. For example, a three or five series AMD Ryzen can make for an attractive low cost option for a CPU here. Two terabytes of SSD storage is also recommended to account for more cache data and a larger L2 index. And a gigabit network connection gives more than enough bandwidth for syncing and serving data. Now keep in mind, at the time of this video, the RIO gateway is in beta and we've only tested it on a few platforms. So leave some comments below or join our Discord to report your results with whatever you end up deploying an RIO gateway on. So that's it for this episode. I hope you join us next time as we work through deploying an RIO gateway on the smallest form factor, a Raspberry Pi. So I'll see you then.